viral science the home of creativity hey friends welcome back to another video and today i have amazing diy device to show you all so this is a raspad it was sent to us by sun founder company and to purchase this links are in the description down below so now this is a raspberry pi touch screen computer tablet and to make this everything is available in the kit itself except the raspberry pi so now this raspad 3 supports raspberry pi 4 so you have options to choose from 2gb ram 4gb ram or 8gb ram i already have a raspberry pi 4gb ram version so i'll be using this to assemble it so this raspad has a uh, built-in speakers and it also has a built-in battery which lasts around three to four hours all the ports are accessible from the site even the ethernet port is also available on the side of this raspad so you can easily access to it soldering is not at all required you just have to plug all the provided cables in the kit with the raspberry pi 4 and the circuit board inside this raspad and you have to insert the sd card with the os inside it so you can use raspbian os or any other supportable os so i'll show you two three os in the video itself so you can see how this raspad works so in this video i'll show you how to assemble this and we'll see how this thing works so let's get started with this video so here is the raspberry 3 packaging and let's quickly unbox it and get all the stuffs out so on the top you'll find this instruction manual where you'll find all the components list and the assembly instructions so you can pause the video and read it out so i'll keep this aside so now let's remove the raspberry so it was nicely packed in a plastic bag so now let's keep it aside for a while and remove all other stuffs so here you'll find all the cables this is the power adapter cable then this is a screwdriver this is the power adapter so with this you can charge the raspberry then you'll find a cooling fan so these are the other screws and heatsink this is a sd card connector and this is a accelerometer and in this bag you'll find all the connectors which which you can connect the raspberry pi 4 with the raspberry so these were all the stuffs which we found in the box we need to purchase the raspberry pi 4 separately and the sd card so these were the sides of the raspberry where we were able to access all the ports of the raspberry pi and on the other side you'll find all the buttons power button volume button sd card slot and the battery indicator and over here you can connect the gpio ribbon cable with the raspberry pi so now we'll uh, open the raspberry so we need to unscrew these five screws and here we got the access of the inside of the raspberry and these were all the circuit boards speakers display drivers and all the ports connectors and on the top you'll find the battery they have used 18650 batteries to power this so now we'll connect the sd card extender cable so we'll plug this into raspberry pi and the other end of the cable will be connected to the circuit board on the raspberry so we'll get able to access the sd card connector slot from the sides of the raspberry So now one by one we'll connect all the other cables with raspberry pi 4 and the raspberry circuit board so we have connected the ethernet cable the usb cable then we'll connect the micro hdmi cable Now we'll connect the type C cable. So after connecting, we'll screw the remaining screws. So now we'll connect the heat sink on the top of the Raspberry Pi. So we have three heat sink. So accordingly, we'll stick it on the processor RAM. So 
now we'll connect the cooling fan on the back plate so we have provided with the screw so we'll tighten it with the screw now we'll connect the connector of the fan on the circuit board So after connecting everything, we are left with the accelerometer. So here we have it. So we'll just plug it on the GPIO pins. Just slide it down on the first six pins. And just slide a little bit more so it will be tightened up. And now we can close the lid. and screw back all the five screws so before powering on we will fully charge the raspad with this power adapter which was provided in the box so we'll connect this jack to the raspad and we'll give the connection so after turning on the power you can see the led indicators showing the status of the battery so now we need to load the os into the sd card i have made multiple videos on how to install raspbian os twister os windows os into raspberry pi so you can refer those videos and load the os into sd card and mount this sd card into our raspad so after mounting the sd card press and hold the power button for 3 seconds and it will turn on the raspad you can even connect the external wireless keyboard mouse to control this So now I'll show you how to install the Raspad launcher. So open the terminal. Here we need to enter this command so it will download the Raspad launcher file. So now we'll need to unzip the file. Press Y and press the enter. So now we'll navigate to the folder. So here we'll change the permissions of the raspberry launcher file installation file so now we'll run the installation file so after installation completes go to start go to other and here you will find raspberry launcher open this so you can see a nice interface where you can use this raspberry as a tablet So on the sides you can see this button with this you can control volume and the brightness of the raspberry and since we have connected the accelerometer we can change the orientation of the raspberry so you can use this like a stand as well like a computer monitor or even you can use it as a tablet So with the Raspberry launcher you can see all the applications with a nice interface. So you can navigate to each and everything. You can access to the office, Excel, Word. You can play games, access to browsers. With this Raspberry you can also do home automation you can control your lights and fans with the Raspberry device 
to do this i am using web server home automation i have already made video on it so you can refer it i will provide link in the description down below so now we'll browse over the internet and let's see how this raspberry performs we'll watch youtube videos navigate to websites So now we'll try out few games which are already available on the Raspberry OS. You can also install RetroPie on this Raspberry and play the games. You can shift between OS multiple times with multiple SD cards. So first I'm turning on on the Raspberry OS. Then again by changing the SD card I'll turn on with Windows OS. So link to purchase this raspberry is in the description down below and if you like this video then do hit that like button share this video with your friends and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more such videos and i will see you in the next one do subscribe and press bell icon to get instant notification for new video